again with a split second to go. That is brilliant timing. You get yourself 25 points. Let's go down and catch the greens. Come on. I'll tell you what, you know, they're keeping me on my toes today. All those split decisions there. I've got to keep my eyes open. Right, they got it. They got it. 25 points up for grabs. Here's your clue. This peg is useful for holding up clothes or if there's a smell for holding your nose. I tell you what, you're making me work today, aren't you? Another split second job. 25 points to you. Let's go and check on the yellows. Come on. <laughs> now, you're not going to do it to me again, are you? Why don't we just get it really quickly, eh? Or we'll not get it at all, but not right up to the death there, right in the last minute. There we go. Here's your clue. If you're caught in the rain, please don't fret. Open this up and you won't get wet. <laughs> Two rooms, that's it. The first roommate and the scores at the end of the first roommate are oh, Jeremy, please. The yellow team have 50 points and the green team have 50 points. Hey! Woo! So the 20 points go, as you know. Anything can happen from now on in. It gets serious. The points are doubled and you have to earn the right to raid the room. How'd you do that? We play find and keep. To the garage doors. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's sort out the bright sparks from the damp squibs. Four more rooms up for grabs to decide who's going to go on the substation plate for the star prize. As usual, on our garage doors, we've got eight hidden answers. I've got four questions here on my cards. You teams have got to find out where the correct answers are hidden. Each time you get a correct answer, you get to raid one room, and you get 50 very valuable points. As usual, we're going to start off with the fantasy room, and of course, Jeremy's Joker. <laughs> Now, the yellows won the toss before we started. They elected the green to go first, so they're going to go first this time round. Hayley, this is a question for you for the fantasy room. What would you hear when your football team scores? Pick a number. Five. What would you hear when your footy team scores? <laughs> Only if it was very wet. Okay, Laura, you try this one. What sound does a horse make when it's excited? Pick a number. Two, please. What sound does a horse make when it's excited? <laughs> yes! <laughs> And you've got yourself 50 points. Well done indeed. We're now playing for Mum and Dad's bedroom. Shane, this is one for you. What sound do you make when you're very scared? Pick a number. Seven. What sound do you make when you're scared? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Still for Mum and Dad's. David, one for you. What do you hear when a jet flies overhead? Pick a number. The four. What do you hear when a jet flies overhead? <laughs> Well, if it lands on your head, you do, maybe. Still for Mum and Dad's bedroom. Open questions now. Yellows, either of you can answer this one. What would you hear when your football team scores? Pick the number, Yellows. Three. What would you hear when your footy team scores? <laughs> maybe Spurs, the cockerels and all that, but no, you Greens, try this one. What sound do you make when you're scared? Pick a number. Four, what sound do you make when you're scared? <laughs> yes! Well done, indeed. You've got another 50 points. Come on, yellows. For the study. What do you hear when a jet flies overhead? Pick a number. One. What do you hear when a jet flies overhead? 
Unless it scares the cat, you know. OK, Greens, you try this one. What would you hear when your football team scores? For the study, pick a number. Six, please. What do you hear when your footy team score? Yeah! Well done. Another 50 points and another room. Yellows, what's going on? Oh, dear me. For the storeroom, let's try this one. What do you hear when a jet flies overhead? Pick a number, Yellows. They're thinking about it. Seven. Seven. What do you hear when the jet flies overhead? <laughs> Green, same one for you. This is the last one for the storeroom. What do you hear when a jet flies overhead? Pick a number. Think about it. Eight, please. You think it's eight. What do you hear when a jet flies overhead? Yes, you do. Well, at the moment, it's a runaway. You get another 50 points, and you get to raid that room. So the scores at the end of that game of find and keep are the yellows. I've got no rooms to raid in this second bit, but they've got 50 points. You greens are raiding all the rooms with 250 points. Greens, you come on over with me. That's it. Over you come. Because we are, um, you know where we're going, don't you? We're going to the fantasy room. And Jeremy's Joker, I'm ready for it. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Don't forget, it all rests on this. What time is it? <laughs> well, let's go and raid some rooms. Come on, then. Let's go. <laughs> I said you were warm. You were in the wardrobe. What were you looking for? <laughs> you were looking for the head. Oh right, my yes. You oh. even pulled the head. Look at that. Look at the face of dejection yeah. there. You pulled it out of the wardrobe. It fell on the floor. What did you want me to do? Say there it is. Can't do that. Let's go and get more 50 more points if we can, because those 50 went to the yellows. Come on. <laughs> Victoria 
this. She's got the camera there. Now. Look at this. This is a Victoria's face if ever there was one. Look at that. Let's take your picture. Oh, you've got your camera boy for that. You've just got yourself 50 points. Let's see if we can clean up in the storeroom. Come with me. Let's go. Fantastic in this second round. We've got one more object to find and another 50 points, but it's all academic now, really, isn't it? So I tell you what, while we're raiding, let's see if we can get Jeremy's job. Who it is today? Right, here we go. Here's your clue. If you're in need of a plaster, open this box and you'll find it faster. First aid. You think it's a first aid kit? Let's see if we can find out what Jeremy's junk is. Raid the round!
out to the study. Right, here's your clue. If you need help with walking, this will give you some walking stick. stick. Walking stick. Let's go to the kitchen. There's your clue. You still need to cook these beans even though they're already baked. to go so believe it or not you've got eight rooms what do they yeah. do Jeremy yes you can sing to your name if you'd like to because we are sending you away for a week's holiday of theatrical activities where you can learn all about acting directing stage design and much much more absolutely fantastic is that good yeah you enjoyed yourself yeah you've been absolutely brilliant look give me five say goodbye and on the head. That's why we have helmets on finders keepers. Oh. Listen, you keep your bedrooms tidy and keep out of mum and dad's bedroom. And we do it all again here next week in our house. Ta ra! We'll be chucking the arrows about tonight at eight here on Challenge with a bit of bullseye.